My name is Alan Hart and today we're going to be looking at the Fernox TF1 Amiga filter. So we're going to do a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the filter, including draining the system down. So first of all, there's two types of filter. There's one with valves, which is this one, and there's one with no valves, which is this one. So you need to look at which one would suit you best. So that says box, open your box. First thing I'd always say to do when you get any product is read the instructions. So in the instructions, it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install it. So when you get your box, take your filter out of the box. So this is the one with no valves to start with. And it also comes with the drain off for the bottom of it and a little sticker. So if we open this, drain off, so you've got a rubber washer and you've got your valve. And if you have a look at your bottom of your filter, it's got a nice big flat face on there, a big rubber washer, just put your washer in there. Connect that onto there. So when you look at the valve, on the valve here, it's got an arrow. So you need to make sure that the arrow is the right way around. So in this particular situation here, our return is going back to the boiler in that direction. So we need to make sure that the arrow is pointing the right way. So we can take this apart to make it a bit easier if we like. So that just comes apart. So best practice would be to fit this onto the return to the boiler. So we're gonna do, we're gonna show you on this pipe here. So first of all, what you do is you would turn your power off to your boiler. You would find a drain off and then you would drain the heating down. So we've got a hose pipe here, and we found this drain off. So this particular drain off, we unscrew from there. This valve here, we shut this down, and we undo this out of here. When we undo this out of here, some water will come out. So, so with this particular type of drain off, what we need to do is turn the lock shield down on this side, and also shut this valve. And then, as we do that, we just need to undo this. And then once we've undone that, we just put the zones on. And then just drain that down. So you've drained your heating down now. And then now we need to mark the pipe work. So all you need to do is get your tape measure. Measure a 70 millimeter section. And then we just need to cut that section out. So I'm using a pipe slice to cut it. You may need to use an axe or, um, but a pipe slice is, is a lot better. And then we get a filter. We have a look at that arrow there. And we make sure it's going in the right direction. When you have a look in these, one side's just a normal connection. One side's a slip socket, so it makes it easier to go on. So we just push, so we just put us on a slip socket, and then we'll just push this up then to where we need it, and then we can just tighten that up. So then just get us filter, put it back on there. When we look at this filter, this doesn't need to be tight. This has got a double o-ring in there so it doesn't have to be tight so as long as we've got it on and that's turned round then you can nip it up if you want to when you finish you might nip it up but for demonstration purposes now we'll just leave it slack so 
before you fill it back up then you can add your chemicals in below so I normally just turn valve upside down and Fernox do a filter fluid protector so you can just buy that connect your hose on so that just connects onto the bottom of there so now all we need to do is just open that tap up and once we've opened that tap up you get your filter fluid take the lid off it and it's really easy it tells you it gives you it gives you a guide on there how to do it screw that onto there and just pull the trigger and that will then inject that into your system once you've done that turn that back off and then once you've turned that back off you can then fill your system back up depending on what type of boiler you've got have a look on one of our other videos on how to repressurize a combi boiler if you've got a combi boiler if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up give it a like also add some comments below thanks for watching